Now you can see the code which is just in front of you is primarily the stemming code. So what I've taken the NMDK library. Next, the two things that I've done over here is that I have taken two popular stemmers, okay? One is a porter stemmer and one is a Lancaster stemmer. So I first I'll talk about the Lancaster. So Lancaster stemmer is a more aggressive stemmer and is often it produces shorter steps. It can be faster, but does have its challenges. The challenges is that it, it becomes less readable at times, okay? And you can see apparently an example over here. So here what I've done is that I have essentially taken the word running, runs, and runner. Now, if I take these three words, it gives me its truncated base form, which is run, 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 but it has done really well. So this is for me green. Okay. When I take the second example, where I take crying, cries, cried. Okay. Here, unfortunately, I cannot say that it has done a great job. The reason being that the first crying it got correct. The second should have been uh, correct, but it has actually got that wrong. Although it has actually uh, 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 done the work of stemmer, which is that it is not morphologically correct. So it has brought it down to its limited format. Next, we are going to talk about Porter stemmer. So what does Porter stemmer do? Okay, so Porter stemmer is more conservative in nature. So what it does is that it aims to reduce the word to its root form while maintaining some form of readability. So it is one of the widely used ones due to its balance between performance and stemming accuracy. So if you are using stemming for your work purpose and you are primarily focusing on keeping up a methodology which is a balance between performance and accuracy then Porter stemmer is the right one for you but let's say you want to do something very fast and you're okay with some mistakes then Lancaster is great so if performance is your key goal use Lancaster and if accuracy and not so optimized performance then you go for Porter stemmer okay but now in lemmatization what I have done okay so in lemmatization again my library is NLTK okay I have imported WordNet lemmatizer now what is WordNet lemmatizer so WordNet lemmatizer uses the WordNet lexical database to perform lemmatization. So what happens over here is use lexical database, which works like a dictionary to ensure that it gives you the right lemmatized word from a particular given word. Okay. Now you can see over here, I have the examples, cries, better, louder. So these are the three which I have given. And you can see it has given cry. So C-R-Y. And better, it did not give bet, but it has given good, which is a correct as per dictionary. Now, it, for louder, it has given loud, which is again correct expert dictionary. Okay, so lemmatization has gone really well. And here I have given an example how I have tokenized. Once I you give me a sentence, I basically split tokenize it. Okay, so I will go into a little more details about tokenization later. For now, let me go to stock words. Okay, so you can see over here, right? So I have already said that English language, what are the stock words? I've already said. So here what you do is that you basically download an LTK, you import the stock words, you also tokenize it to split the words and identify which are the stock words to be filtered out. So you then download stock words. Now the next thing that you do over here is that you we will go down and we will see over here, right? We'll see over here that I have taken a sentence. This is my sample sentence, okay? So I've taken this complete sentence. So this is a sample sentence showing off the word uh, stock word filtration. And then here, what I've done is that I have basically uh, sent the stock word as English. Then I did the tokenization of it. Then next step, I'm filtering out the stock words. So what I essentially get over here is that I get an output which does not have any stock words. Beautiful. Okay. So next step is tokenization. I think we have already spoken about tokenization. Uh, tokenization is all about taking a sentence and breaking it into different words that it is composed of. So taking this example. So I've taken this sentence. Okay. So you have this sentence over here. This is an example of sentence tokenization. And what I've got over here is that I've got the sentence broken into different words and tokenized. All right. Great. So next step, next step we're going to POS study. So what is POS study? Okay, so as I say, POS tagging is all about taking a sentence. Okay, so let me take a sentence. A quick gray wolf jumps over the lazy dog. Now what I've done over here is that I have actually taken a complete sentence. Now in I have passed it across to NLTK POS tagging. First I've done tokenization. So this is my step for tokenization. Next, uh, I have done POS tagging and then I have print the tagged word. So what I've got over here is that I've got the, which is a determinant, quick, which is an adjective, gray, which is a singular noun, wolf, which is a singular noun, jumps, which is uh, primarily a verb. You can think of it as a preposition. Then I have dt, which is primarily a determinant. The is a determinant, okay? So I'm going to primarily pull this up. Next, I have over here the, which is a determinant, which anyway I've spoken about, okay? Next, I have lazy, which is essentially an adjective, and dog, which is a singular noun. So what we have just now seen is that we have taken this sentence, we have tokenized it, and we have given the parts of speech tagging, okay? And the tagging looks like this, the determinant, 
quick is an adjective gray is a singular noun wolf is a singular noun jumps is a verb over is a, essentially a preposition the is a determinant we have lazy which is essentially an adjective then we have dog which is a singular noun okay great so we now have the understanding we'll go ahead you can actually do the same thing with spacey so i've given one more example how you can do the same thing with spacey so here you have you have the same example i have loaded basically the english nlp model and then i have passed the same sentence a quick gray all jumps over the lazy dog then the next step i have done tokenization and pos tag okay so you can see for yourself here are the results okay the determinant quick adjective gray noun wolf is a proper noun jumps is a verb over is an acquisition which is i think basically your prepositions and then there is a determinant lazy an adjective and dog is a noun we have seen the labs where you have seen what are the different libraries that aid us in performing all these steps of pre-processing so i hope you had a great learning and thank you so much for listening to the session